Journey to Heaven One morning Akbar was being attended to as usual by the royal barber. As the barber's fingers moved skillfully over Akbar's face, he asked, Jahan Panna, if I may be bold enough to inquire, do you not sometimes miss your late father, our glorious emperor? Miss him often, said Akbar pensively. Death robbed me early of his guidance. Would your majesty not like to know how your great father is faring in heaven? Continued the barber. If only that were possible, murmured Akbar with a smile. Few days later, when some courtiers were also present, the barber brought up the subject again. Shah Alam, last night I was greatly blessed. I saw his royal highness, your late father in my dream, he lied. Is that so? said Akbar. I hope his majesty was in good health. He was, Jahan Panna, said the barber. But he was alone and seemed to be in need of company. That perturbed me. Frown creased Akbar's brow. Jahan Panna, may I make a suggestion? said Shabazz Khan. Perhaps there is a way to lighten his majesty's solitude. Someone who is both wise and witty could be sent to paradise to keep his royal highness company. Hmm. And who do you think would be most suitable for such an honor? Akbar wondered if another plot was being hatched against his favorite courtier. His suspicion was confirmed when the barber said eagerly, Raja Burbal, above all others, in my humble opinion. Shabazz Khan and Mullah du Piazza nodded their heads in agreement. And no harm would come to him, your majesty, continued the barber. There is a magician in Agra who regularly sends people to heaven and gets them back alive. Do you think your emperor is foolish enough to believe such a story? thought Akbar. Old man, it seems there is as much greed in your heart as there is skill in your fingers. How much were you paid for trying to trap Burbal? But Akbar's face did not betray his thoughts. Send for Burbal was all he said. Later that day Burbal heard the proposal to dispatch him to paradise. Well, what have you to say? asked Akbar. Silently he added, Find a way to save yourself, my friend. Burbal bowed. His face was expressionless. Jahan Panna, what could be a greater honor for Methan to serve his royal highness in heaven? But I beg leave for a month to prepare for my journey. Granted, said the emperor. Muladu Piazza and Shabazz Khan glanced at each other in delight. Burbal's departure for heaven was to take place in a large field not far from his home. A huge pyre of straw and wood was to be set alight and Burbal was to rise to heaven with the smoke from the fire. He himself selected the exact spot and supervised all the arrangements. Month passed. On the appointed day, Emperor Akbar and his courtiers watched as Burbal mounted the pyre. He asked for extra straw to be piled all over him so as to make the fire even bigger and brighter. The magician brought by the barber began to recite spells that would ensure Burble's safe journey to heaven. The pyre was lit. Sick at heart, Akbar wondered why Burbal had not saved himself. The emperor despaired of ever seeing his friend again. But Burbal had not gone up to heaven with the smoke from the raging fire. Instead, as soon as the pyre was lit, he had gone down into a tunnel that he had had dug secretly all the way to his home nearby. Exactly three months later, Burbal reappeared in court. His hair had grown long and there was a beard on his face. Burbal, exclaimed Akbar joyfully, is it really you? When did you return from heaven? Have just returned, your majesty, said Burbal, bowing deeply. And I am happy to report that His Royal Highness, your esteemed father, is in good health and spirits. We're delighted to hear that, said Akbar. His Royal Highness enjoys every comfort one. In, in paradise, Burbal went on. Just one thing is lacking. And that is the reason for my return and my appearance. Your Majesty, there are no barbers in heaven. Your father requests you to send him a skilled barber as soon as possible. Akbar concealed a smile. How cleverly had Burbal turned the tables on those who sought to kill him. We will send His Highness the best barber in the land this very day, declared Akbar. Let the royal barber prepare for his journey to heaven.